First things first, so I like to start off the day with a glass of water just to make sure that my body's rehydrated from the night before and to actually make sure that I can think straight before I then jump onto the charts. When I jump on the charts, I like to do like a quick three to five minute chart scan just before I then get ready for the day, just to check the development of the night previously, see if anything's developed whilst I've been asleep. I already know what I'm looking at going to the day ahead from the daily watch this night before. So if I have to be on the ball with certain pairs, I already know that going into the day ahead, which is the ultimate key. Today I was looking at Euro dollar, so Euro dollar develops nicely. I then set the entry order shortly after waking up. Ninety-five percent of the time, I will have a cold shower. Yes, it's uncomfortable when that I'm in the shower. Yes, you experience that short-term pain, but the rewards and the growth you experience from that cold therapy is super beneficial, not only for your body but for your mind as well. It's so easy to leave that nozzle on hot water when it's comfortable and when it's easy to do so. It's so much more difficult to actually have the discipline to then turn that to cold, experience the short-term pain for the bigger rewards. Here I'm doing my daily watch list so you can see me looking at the entries and management in accordance with my plan. You'll also, if you pay really close attention, you'll see my mouth moving. What I'm doing is reaffirming those setups into my mind. So I'm speaking out loudly, it's called auto suggestion. So I'm speaking the setups out loud so that I'm reaffirming in my mind exactly what I'm looking for. So that then when those setups occur, I know exactly what I'm gonna do next. is price pushes down, forms continuation, that will then be my second position. So I'll be looking for that trade to the downside. Be looking for that trade to the downside from there. And then I'll be looking to get involved in the trade as well. So essentially that that will be my scaling position. And then be looking to target here for like a 10 percent so that looks good. If I don't catch the first initial risk entry or we move up right, so let's say for example, let's say we just move up from here, right? Let's just remove this. Let's say we move up from here, right? And then what we get is if we retrace form continuation. If we then get that, that will be my alternate entry to then look to take that to the downside likely 30, 25 to 30 stop and then be looking for that trade to the downside so that then likely push through and then be looking at that and then be just looking to manage that in accordance with the structure So it's currently just gone at 9 a.m. Just about to hit a shoulder workout. I'm currently in the gym car park right now. And yeah, currently in terms of Euro dollar, I've been taking out for break even. So I forecasted the trade last night and um, took the trade this morning. I think it was around about six, half six, something like that. Um, and then been taken out early today with the retrace candle. So I'll link a screenshot here. Um, stuck to the plan, forecasted the trade last night, took it this morning. So overall happy with the trade and I'll take it again and again. Just about head inside now and hit a shoulder workout. So let's get inside. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that I wanna be better not worse man it hurts I'm on the earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth working hella hard till they put me in the dirt gonna go far man listen to my words gonna be a star man life's like a blur when you're working this hard till you get what you deserve yeah I ain't taking a backseat I'm passing anybody else who is rapping I'm nasty ain't nobody able to catch me they gasping they cannot compare they can't match me I'm at half speed I got your girl and she Laughing and dancing, hanging on my butt, she asking to crash with me, smash with me, she's savage, she wants cash money, and she knows that I live lavishly, uh, I wanna live, I'm cold inside, 
Well, what's going on? So I just got back from the gym about half an hour ago, just been getting ready for the day ahead. So just about to dive into some work blocks um, for the next few hours before I have my first meal around 1 to 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So I, I utilize something called intermittent fasting um, and I do a 16-8 split. So basically that's a 16 hour window where I'm fasted. I don't eat anything throughout that period. And that's where I work out as well. And then I'll have an eight hour window where that's where I eat food and make sure I get sufficient calories throughout the day as well. But overall, the reason I utilize intermittent fasting is from a productivity standpoint and also a health standpoint. So do your research, there's so many health benefits that actually come from intermittent fasting. So your cells start to rejuvenate after the 16 hour period. So if you can get to 16, 18 hours fasted, your cells start to replenish and rejuvenate, things like that, super beneficial for health which is why I utilize it. However, also from a productivity standpoint as well, I find that I'm just so much more productive in the mornings now. Um, I used to basically have breakfast and you know, I'd eat something like oats and that'll be a huge carb spike. So I'd get an insulin spike initially. And then after like an hour or two, I'd then end up crashing and then I just wouldn't be as focused. I wouldn't be as productive throughout the day. So I find that utilizing intermittent fasting, um, obviously you have that first few weeks period where you're just super hungry, but once you get past that stage, your body then adapts. But overall, that's my foundational morning routine. I try and keep it as discretionary as possible. Reason being, say for example, this morning I entered the trade on Euro dollar, right? That was fine because it was a pending order. I then get triggered into trade with the momentum, the bullish momentum that kicked in. However, if I'm waiting for something like a one hour retrace candle and it's more of a specific entry that I'm waiting on the hourly close or the 15 minute close, something like that, then that's where you have to utilize discretion a little bit. I will be more discretionary um, with that, but Planning in advance is the key because if I can plan in advance, make sure I know exactly the entries that I'm looking for, how I'm gonna to manage to trade in advance, then if I'm in the gym, for example, then I can just enter on my phone. But I do prefer entering on the computer, but I will utilize that if needed, as long as I know exactly how I'm gonna enter the trade, that's the key. If I don't, then I'll stay and I'll wait and I'll take the trade at home. But if not, then I'll just take the trade in the gym as long as I know exactly what I'm looking for. So yeah, that's the main thing. That's why I'm trying to be a little bit discretionary with my routine over the last few, few weeks and months. But overall, that's the routine, that's the foundational routine. I'm gonna get into the work blocks now and take you along with me, so let's get into that now. Getting very close to the bottom of the structure, if we look on the daily chart, we're practically 10, 15 pips away, about 50, 14, 15 pips away, pretty much there. So I'm seeing three things right now on KiwiCAD. We'll either get the rejection from here, we'll likely get some heavy momentum in here because of the buying orders. So if we get a rejection around here, then that'll be look, looking to take that to the upside as a longer term play as well. So we either get rejection at the double bottom or we break below slightly, catching people on the wrong side of the market, then we get the buy. Or ideally, this is what we get to be honest, is if we break a little bit further, form that one, two, three tech formation, which was previously forecasted, and then we take that to the upside. I would, I would ideally prefer that because that would be the high probability trade. So we've just got a new delivery. So I've been waiting this for the last couple of days. They're actually really quick with the delivery and the printing. So this is a new updated version of my trading plan. So I've just tweaked a few things, made it more clearer, um, especially in terms of sticking to your plan. Like I'm really trying to get to that ratio of 90 to 95% congruency with, more, with your plan. So in that process, I thought it'd be a great idea to just update it a little bit, make things more clearer, just so I understand it a lot better. So yeah, just updated it. It's probably my third or fourth time in the last five, six months, actually updating it. But um, yeah, becoming a regular customer. Let's take a look. Nice little sweep there. Yeah, literally Lord ordered like five, six trading plans from these guys, they're really good. So, a few guys in the, in the UK, they're called Docs Direct, really good. Really cheap as well, super cheap. Hey, there we go. Check that. New updated trading plan. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks clean. That looks clean. Super sharp, super crisp. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. 
So new updated training plan looking very clean. I thought I'd give you just a quick run through. I'm not going to show everything with respect to the strategy, things like that, but I can give you a quick, a quick run through in terms of what's included within my plan personally. Because if you're going through your plan of developing yours, then hopefully this helps. So I have basically table of contents. My go-to setups are risk entries and then a couple of reduced risk entries as well. So put all your entries first, which is what I do personally. Then I have a section on management. So I have different management styles. I have three different management styles pair behavior so each currency pair and each pair behaves slightly differently so you find out that within back testing stuff like that so for me personally on say for example euro pound i don't take reduced risk entries so i won't take tight flags things like that just because of its typical correct behavior so understanding that through back testing is super super helpful so i'll have that my risk tolerance so always one percent on just the one account and then over the course of two i'll have the the two trades if i'm taking a longer term trade and then we have a checklist, so pre-trade checklist for questions. Then I'll have psychology of any quotes that are good to read through. And then obviously I'll sign that at the end as well. So yeah, overall pretty clean, pretty simple. And it's 20 pages long. And uh, yeah, just really good to refer back to. If you can make it as clear, but as simple as possible, that's really the key for me personally. I fight to strive. One day I'll have I want the whole world in the palm of my hand I got a plan, I'm the man Now I'm teaching the game A veteran better than anybody else who tests me I'm ready, looking in my hand and it's steady I'm trending, ascending and blending Lyrical bending, now I'm spreading and getting My name out now, yeah they hear me laugh All the crowds repping the sound I'm hitting the ground, running up and coming Ain't nothing, yeah, rookie of the year I'ma keep it running. So to break my fast, I'm going to have half a glass of water Along with a lemon squeezed in and then some baking soda as well. So the reason I do this, I don't do this every single day, but I usually do this around about, I'd say three days out of five during the week. So yeah, I'm gonna squeeze, I usually do like half a lemon and then, oh, there's always pips in. And then I usually pour a quarter of a teaspoon into the, and then mix it up. You can see by just adding the baking powder into the lemons with the water, it gives it almost like a fizz and that balances your pH for your body and then cleanses your blood as well. So super beneficial, I've been really like taking it and yeah, I'm gonna have this very soon.